Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to use some items that you may have laying around your home for your children or items you can simply find at the dollar store. And we're going to create a sensory activity for numbers and letters. So I have some Play-Doh here. And I have some um, raised stickers that I got from the dollar store. So as you can see, it has texture to it. It's bumpy and it is raised. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to take our Play-Doh and we're going to just flatten it out. And then we're going to take these stickers and then we're going to form um, letters or we can form numbers. The purpose of this is to have your child feel the number and feel the letter. So they're going to take their finger and they're going to go along the beads in whatever shape or letter or number that you created. So I think I'm going to use purple Play-Doh, but let me show you an example of um, the letter and how you would um, teach this concept to your child. So since our letter of the week is the letter B, what I decided to do is go ahead and create the letter B. Again, using Play-Doh from the dollar store and using these um, raised um, stickers that have texture to it from the dollar store. So here we go. You would take their little finger and you would say, let's trace the letter B. And then you would go down, and then around, and then around. Let's do it again. Down, around, and around. The letter B makes the B sound. Can you think of some words that begin with the letter B? Let's think about it. Ball, boy, baby. So what I'll do is I'll just take this and then um, I will put it in our little bin for our letter B for the rest of the week. So you can do this with letters, you can do with this, you can do this with letters, or you can do this with numbers. So this is great for sensory. Okay, and again. This only cost $2. I got a pack of six um, Play-Doh at the dollar store. And again, I got these little raised stickers from the dollar store. If you can't find these stickers, you can use pony beads or you can use anything else. The whole point is to use what you have at home in order to teach your little one. Well, I hope this was helpful and I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share my channel with your friends and family.